So we will have a look today at a few ideas you can use and that might help you to add harmonic and melodic complexity to your generative patches, even if you have no experience with basic music theory like chords and scales. So the first thing that comes to mind when dealing with generative music or generative patches is randomness. And that can be quite fun, but we as uh, humans, we like stability, we like to have something that we can hang on to. So adding repetitive elements, adding stability is something that you might find useful. So here I have sample and hold generating um, pitch information. And by the way, if you're not familiar with sample and hold or other basic concepts of modular, um, there will be a link in the description to a series of videos I did all about the different building blocks of modular synthesis, so you might find it interesting and useful. So again, I have sample and hold generating uh, pitch information, and I have also a sequencer, the ADDR sequencer, generating a stable sequence. And quantum will make sure everything stays inside a certain scale, but you can use any quantizer you like. You can use other quantizers that have built-in scales that you can uh, choose from. For example, again, this video is not about basic music theory but rather about using the features of different modules to add to your patch, even without knowing basic, uh, basic music theory, scales, chords, and so on. So let's listen to the random pitch. I have here clets in FM mode. And now let's listen to the stable sequence, repetitive sequence. And now we need a way to combine them and have some stability and some randomness that will always change. And of course, as always in modular, there are many ways to do this. And one way is with a sequential switch. So let's use the one from ML, which will look like this and now what we will do um, is we will send the sequence to let's say five inputs of the switch one two let's say three four and five and the sample and hold will go to the rest one two and three which means that we will have stability on five steps and randomness on three steps of course you can set it up differently if you want more or less randomness and now we need something to trigger the switch and also here there are many options i will use the same clock let's also reset everything okay and now let's send the output to the quantizer to quantum We can also change the range of the sample and hold. Now it's on zero to one, which means it's just one octave. We can change it to zero to three, so it will have three octaves. So now we have stability, something that we can hang on to, but also endless variation and movement being generated by the sample and hold. Let's send the lower sample and hold, which is normal to the first one. Let's send it to the timbre, but I want the lower notes to have more FM and the higher notes to have less FM. So let's take the amount up and then invert the sample and hold with the attenue inverter. So now more voltage, the more voltage uh, that comes through the lower the FM amount will be. Now we want to add to this to add more voices that will work together. So we can use another great tool for adding harmony and that's the shift register. Here I have the one from ML. Basically a shift register will sample an incoming signal and will shift it across its, uh, across its uh, channels generating chords from one stream of notes. I have here three bleak oscillators being mixed into tangents and I have the 8FO uh, modulating the different parameters of the oscillators to add some movement. Let's unmute this. 
This is how it sounds like for now. So let's send a signal from quantum to the shift register. This will be the signal that the shift register will sample. And now we need something to trigger the shift register, telling it when to sample the signal. We will use a divided clock, but one that's not sitting perfectly with the sequence. So we will get different notes here and there. We have here a divided by seven clock. And let's send three outputs from the shift register to the oblique oscillators. And listen to this. And we get chords that are built out of a stable sequence and random notes. Now another way to add more harmonic movement is by using analog logic. Um, so here we have kinks or utilities for mutable slash audible instruments. And it has an analog logic section here in the center that we can use to combine two different signals and get the maximum and minimum values of both. And by that, in this case, create another stream of notes that will accompany what's already there. So let's use again the signal from quantum and we will use another output from the shift register to input B. And here I have two basal oscillators going through the Briatus, so we can shape their sound a bit with folding, crash, distortion and saturation. From there to slap, which is a VCA and envelope generator. And this is going through some delay with corner blob 2. So let's use the maximum and minimum outputs. And let's listen to this. Again, this is all generated from this one sequence, part stable, part random. And now we can add even more, something like counterpoint notes that will support the main line. And again, even if you're not familiar with basic music theory, this will still work the same. Try using the modules we go through that will add to the harmonic complexity without worrying too much about scales and such. So here I have another quantizer. We will need it uh, for this technique. And I have here Ona from Nano Modules mixing a few waves going through a low pass filter. And this time we will again use the signal from Quantum, but we will invert it first. So whenever the notes goes, uh, go up, the inverted notes will go down and the other way around as well, which will give us a contrary motion. Um, so the notes, the lines will go in opposite directions. So let's send the signal from Quantum first to the upper section of Kinks, the signal section. And then here we have the inverted output that we will send to the second Quantum. And let's have a listen to this. So we have another line generated from the first sequence as well, but in this case inverted, supporting the main melody with the counter melody. Okay, let's add the bass to this. Um, so here down we have basal. Again, Vult. And what we will do is we will use another sample and hold to generate random pitch information, but with a division of the clock, so it will not be so frequent, and we will get um, different um, rhythmic results. So here, 
we will use the sample and hold section of kinks now to trigger the sample and hold we will use another divided clock um, and again it will not sit together with the sequence so we will use the divided by 10 clock in this case now the sample and hold signal in this case will have a quite the wide range and what we want is a bass voice or something that stays more or less in the same octave in the lower registers so let's send the signal from the sample and hold first to the dual attenuverter from Befaco let's open it a bit something like this and offset it also so it will start from a lower point pitch wise send it to quantum from quantum to basal and let's have a listen to this oh yeah maybe that's a bit too low here Very nice. Okay, let's talk about rhythm quickly. We can add also some rhythmic variation to this, so it's not playing all the time. Make it a bit more ambient, if you will. And for this, we can use branches, also known as the Bernoulli gate, which will look like this. This will add a probability to our clock. So let's use the multiplied clock. I will just um, switch everything to branches and I will send the clock to the input of branches and now according to the probability control the clock will go through or not out of output B which will add more rhythmic variation so I can have it like before or I can add lots and lots of probability like this I can add tension to the patch So again, this is all coming from one sequence apart from the bass, of course. And again, everything will work. Also, if you are not familiar with basic music theory, with chords and scales, we let the modules themselves do the theory for us. Everything will continue changing. Uh, you don't have uh, also to use all of these techniques at once, but try exploring some of them in your patches. Of course, this can go much, much deeper, but I will let you explore the possibilities um, I hope you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and cheers!